the skies yesterday, but we've got clouds out there right now, Kristen. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you can kind of see the changes trying to move in, but no rain right now. And I think most of tomorrow should be pretty dry, too. So a little overcast, but we're still enjoying the warmer temperatures. Uh, that is not going to stick around, though. So we have one more day of the milder weather before uh, we do start to see those temperatures dip. And we will even see lowering snow levels potentially down to the valley floor later this week. So some changes coming in. But yeah, right now it is very gray out there, but at least a little less wind. And again, it feels pretty comfy out. We're in the 60s at 61 degrees, and there's that south wind coming in at 17. So we continue to see uh, some breezy conditions there. Satellite and radar showing that any radar activity, you have to get out towards uh, Nevada to see any rain. Uh, so the satellite picture is lighting up, showing the cloud cover streaming on in ahead of that low pressure system that I showed you uh, just minutes ago off the coast of California. That is the storm system that's going to be moving in our direction. So overnight tonight, we will see uh, some cloudy skies, and there is a weak disturbance that rolls overhead. I don't know if you saw that or not, right there in northern Utah. Uh, there there will be the chance that we may have a few showers that roll right overhead early tomorrow morning. And then behind that, we'll actually see potentially a little more sunshine than what we saw today uh, before we see our next chance for rain starting to move in later tomorrow. So I think we will see some decent weather tomorrow. And then you can see those showers popping up in the afternoon and evening. Most of that across the higher elevations and out towards southwest Wyoming and getting a little bit of snow going in our Uinta Mountains. So this is tomorrow night. And then tomorrow night, over Overnight, we will start to see more moisture moving in, and you can see the snow starting to pick up in coverage in our southern mountains. At this point, our snow levels will be right around 6,000 feet, but going through the day Wednesday, we could see them lower, uh, even lower than that, potentially to 4,000 feet, which could mean uh, that some of the higher elevations along I-15 and places like Cedar City could see some snow as early as tomorrow. Notice on Wednesday, though, along the northern Wasatch Front, uh, we're just looking at cloudy skies to start the day. And then we will see a chance for some showers during the afternoon, but most of the snow staying in the mountains. Uh, by Wednesday night, uh, we'll start to see more showers moving in, potentially for the Wasatch Front, to keep a chance for showers going into Thursday. But most of the focus is going to be out over our central and southern mountains. So that low-pressure system off the coast of California is going to move in our direction. It's going to bring in much colder conditions starting on Wednesday. We'll have highs only in the 40s for many areas along the Wasatch Front. And we will see the chilly temperatures try to stick around for just a little bit as our unsettled weather uh, could linger into the weekend and even early next week. Your forecast for tomorrow morning, temperatures will be in the 40s. And again, there is that chance for maybe a stray shower or two early, early tomorrow morning, probably before sunrise. And then we'll get into the afternoon and our temperatures are back into the 60s. We'll have a chance for some mountain showers, um, but overall a dry day with a little more sunshine and potentially uh, warmer temperatures than what we saw even today. Your seven-day forecast for southern Utah, we do start to cool things off a bit. We're back up to 50 for a high on Wednesday, pretty wet at times, and Thursday we'll have showers overnight lows in the upper 30s even down in st george and then your seven day forecast in northern utah as you can see there uh, we are going to be looking at uh, temperatures let me get back to the map there we go temperatures in the 40s by wednesday low 50s thursday friday and maybe back up to 60 on sunday before another cool down and more wet weather early next week so we will have some shower chances moving in doesn't like it's going to be a rain out or anything like that the big difference you're going to notice is that chance for showers moving in on Wednesday and the big cool down, I should say, uh, moving in on uh, Wednesday uh, afternoon with highs going back to the 40s from the 60s. So I think we'll all feel that. <laughs> all right. Very good, Kristen. Thanks so much. It's springtime in the Rockies.